Hey there, YouTubers, design scientists. I'm going to go way back in my blogs to 2004 and look at a few of the blog posts because we're talking Asylum City here in 2019, which is triggered by a lot of refugees moving around the world. Not surprising when there's, there's both climate change and climate's always changing. I agree. It's not a debate and you know has been and will continue to change people need to move around for a lot of different reasons and especially when you have mega war and outward violence i mean mega war doesn't seem big to you until your house blows up right it's as mega because you're you're small and so an explosion is big compared to you no matter how little you are compared to somebody's you know dog when they're watching you on tv you're nothing to them that, that at that time but you know it's violent no matter where it happens or how and it makes you want to get out of there right so it's like well that's just a little war that's just a civil war why don't they stay there take it or something crazy stuff so <clears throat> in this one futurism 2 i sound down on ai and, you know, AI has always had this kind of dualistic uh, definition. So you can be up about AI and down on AI at the same time. So I'm up on machine learning and voice recognition and all kinds of breakthroughs we've had in deep learning, all that stuff. But I'm not impressed by Sophia in particular. I don't think she's peer-reviewed. I haven't seen any like circuit diagrams, so I don't think of her as even close to AI of the other kind. Like that still hasn't gone anywhere as far as I'm concerned. Now I could be wrong. She's a Saudi citizen now, so. All right, now what else am I going to talk about? Uh, I'm going to talk about software in a box. Now, like if you are... So I'm, I'm figuring out what's going on with my blog here. If you are going to set up a city from scratch, as I was saying earlier, it's not like first you build all this infrastructure and invite a lot of people there. And then once you know, you've know you got a, a, a lot of people, oh, now we'll start to figure out what, what the economy is. Like now we're going to start to figure out what the ecosystem is, the roles, the theater. You know, no, you got to plan this stuff. And if we haven't been planning it, you know, all I can say is we've been derelict. We are delinquents. I think a delinquents is a good word for us. In fact, Fuller does refer to us in that those terms, after image. Like we lag, lag. Human consciousness, we're the delinquents uh, of the universe, and that gives us time to think about it. Okay, so back to where I was, if I can find it. The idea that you can have software in a box. Go back to 2004 sometime in my grain of sand. I won't even read it to you. Or maybe I will. I'll try to get there. But um, what we're interested in is you get this software installed where you're the sheriff. Let's have a small town. Let's forget big city. And it's designed kind of in a Wild West manner. So it's like Westworld, yes, but, you know, we don't have AI in that sense. Uh, what we do have are um, pretty cool facilities underground, maybe, to help, um, like, like the Toronto thing, the Google uh, dystopia, as Abby and, and Joe Rogan were calling it, but you know, having your garbage dealt with underground, I could see a kind of Wild West town with at least has some buried automaton, stuff like that. Pneumatic tubes, maybe in a skyscraper. I mean, let's think of a skyscraper as a small civilization, mixed use, and there's governance. And when you, the sheriff, send a memo about X, somebody was drinking and found in the elevator, passed out, then a CC automatically goes to X. Um, the roles are already pre-crafted. Now you can customize, but when you kind of open the box, 
some company has made for you Wild West Village version 2.6 and it's got the rolls in it already so you can already uh, get rolling on your roll and like I say we're making a movie about what it's like to maybe live in the Wild West okay in a way it's what it's like to use this technology it's what it's like to use this future in a box that came to you from this company they want to know like what's it like to actually live out this lifestyle so maybe the engineers who wrote the software and have brainstormed about it it's like role-playing LARP and all that right we're into this we're into bar camp we're into camping and geeking out our ancient uh, married couple now right it's often camping in a quote urban setting so you could have camp such and such be a skyscraper and the government is written by geeks and it's software and people play these roles and they're always tweaking these roles but there's a lot that's duplicate you can uh, you get a successful skyscraper going with a, a happy population you can almost clone it in some ways because now it's all encoded in software which is a little different than having it encoded in law, right? Because law books, they're not as easy to implement. Whereas if it's software, it's mouse clicks, right? It's stuff that's going to just, it's operational. So <clears throat> pretty good idea, I think. And I'm not saying I invented it. I think I've seen movies based on this idea, but I've definitely blogged about it. And uh, I would, I'll, I'll be putting those, of course, showing that as I'm talking because I record the audio track and I can go back and show you those blog posts. All right. I hope that was interesting. Talk to you soon.